penultimate day of this uh, Kyushu Basho. There are only two men in the race for winning the Emperor's Cup and the Basho. It's Masashi Maru here, the lone Yokozuna. See the size of him there, massive man, just under 500 pounds of body weight. And the other one is very much smaller wrestler, Tochi Azuma. 144 kilos well they meet on day 14 which we will see and that will really decide the outcome of the basher if Masashi Maru loses of course though it will go on to the final day with some kind of playoff perhaps so into our first bout of day 14 it's Tama Rikido ex uh, amateur champion from Nichidai he's fighting Otsukasa also ex amateur champion from Nichidai. So both wrestlers locking in there, but it's uh, Tamarikido with that overarm grip, the Owate, uh, who spins Otsukasa down. Well, that's uh, eight wins and Kachikoshi for Tamarikido and sixth loss for Otsukasa. Pretty quiet bout that one. Not a lot of fireworks. Now we have Kita Zakura. And Wakanoyama. Kida Zakura has uh, got a bit of judo experience in him. He comes across the ring there, lowers his head, cracks into Wakanoyama and bounces. And just in that split second as he bounces, Wakanoyama slapped him down on the back of the head. And down he went. Certainly had the uh, advantage on the Tachiai there. Uh, but uh, Wakanoyama stopped him dead. And we have Aogi Yama back in the Makuchi division, having spent some time in the Judeo division. That's the one below here fighting Oginishki. Fought each other ten times. Oh, Aogi Yama's won seven of them, but uh, he's been down in the lower divisions. And it's there, Oginishki. He's perked up a bit since day ten. Had a pretty disastrous basho up to about ten, and then he's had a string of wins. And that's uh, fifth win for him. He's already got Makikoshi, but... Uh, Certainly looking a bit better now. And that was 10th loss for Aogiyama. But my gosh, you're a 13. We'll almost certainly dropped back down to the Julio division again. Chio Denzan fights Buyu Zhang. Now he's got uh, eight wins already. That's uh, Kachikoshi and perhaps more wins to come. Well, certainly, yes, there's another win. That's his ninth win against uh, Chio Tenzan and that will almost uh, that will certainly guarantee his position in this Makuchi division so that's uh, nine wins possibility of one more so he'll certainly jump up the Maigashira rankings into a relatively safe position for a while now Toki who uh, uses long arms to quite sort of rough effect against uh, his opponents but also has the habit of pushing with his hands and moving backwards with his legs which uh, doesn't take him very far sometimes you're finding Kyoku Shuzan well there well there you see him yes he was moving backwards as he was pushing but he's alternating a bit and again so there he was moving backwards and pushing and Kyoku Shuzan took advantage uh, of that and shoved him out with Oshidashi Seventh loss for Toki and ninth win for Kyoku Shuzan, who's having a very good uh, basho this time. Previous basho, he had six wins, already nine by day 14. Possibility of one more win. Now, Akinoshima, the Futagoyama disciplinarian, the man who rules the stable with an iron rule, fighting Aminishki. They fought twice before, Aminishki's won twice. Kinoshima at 151 kilos. Aminishki some 30 kilos lighter. Well, Kinoshima's got that Kime hold. That's the two arms wrapped around the arms of Aminishki. Not a comfortable hold. Bit of an arm breaker. And you can see him. Fists locked together underneath. Squeezing in tight against Aminishki's upper arms. Well, there you can see the, uh, the shoulders being stressed there as Akinoshima lifts him up. And then he turns it into uh, a throw. So very neatly done. It looked like uh, Aminishki's shoulders were going to pop out there with the force of that uh, double arm lock. See, not looking too happy there. 
but uh, Akinoshima switched and spun him over with the the arm throw, the kote nagi. So seventh win for Akinoshima and seventh loss for Aminishiki. Kotenho, six wins. Well, he needs to win this one and the one tomorrow to get uh, Kachikoshi. Takano Nami here, nine wins and four losses. Dropped out of the race uh, for the uh, for the Basho for winning it. Nine wins, certainly much better than he's done for a very long time. There's that uh, Kime hold again. That's wrapping around the arm and putting a very tight arm lock on it. In that case, in Takano Nami's case, there it was a single arm lock, single Kime hold. But uh, Kyokuten Ho spun him out at the end of the rush to the edge. So upset win there by Kyokuten Ho. Gives him seven wins and fifth loss for Takano Nami. See the crowd here at the uh, Fukuoka International Center. And the wrestlers get ready. The next one out is uh, Hamanishiki. And he's fighting Tokitsu Umi. Both wrestlers quite light, both around the 130 kilo mark. It's about 20 stone, 20 and a half stone. Small by uh, sumo terms. A cautious start, both cracking with the heads. Both uh, looking for the, uh, the belts, especially with one hand. Both fighting for the grip on the other side, as you can see there. Bit of a stomach push from Hamanishiki. Hamanishiki in the purple Mawashi tries again. Rocks uh, Tokitumi over to one side, gets him on the edge. Interesting to see the way the winning wrestler there, or the wrestler with the advantage, pushes them over first to one side, then the other, just trying to break their balance. And then finally over the edge. It's not often a wrestler gets pushed directly straight backwards, nearly always at a, a bit of an angle to one side. So that was third win for Tokitsumi. Finally perking up, getting over his th uh, bad cold by the look of it. Now Dejima. Well, he's uh, got seven losses. If he loses this one, that will give him Makikoshi, and that will drop him down the rankings. He's at Maigashi a three, he'll go even lower. This is the man who once uh, won a tournament. Well, that's it. Eighth loss, Makikoshi for Dejima, and sixth win for Tamakosuga. Well, Dejima's got a bad leg injury. He's had it for some time now. One wonders uh, when it will recover. To do with sitting out a couple of basho, I think, but uh, that will drop him even, even further down the ranks. Now, Kotonowaka against Wakano Sato. Wakano Sato uh, missed two Kyushu bashos. He was injured, had some bad injuries a couple of years ago. Missed 98 and 99 Kyushu basho. Perhaps he might feel his jinx, but he's not doing too bad. He's got eight wins. That makes it nine wins there as he hustles uh, Kotonowaka out with Yorikiri. Nine wins and five losses for Wakano Sato. And the eighth loss, and Makikoshi for Kotonowaka. Tamanoshima. Powerful wrestler, skillful one, ex amateur champion. Started uh, pro sumo in 98, got into the Makuchi division uh, two years later, which is uh, pretty much average for. Amateur sumo champions, when they come into uh, pro sumo, it takes a couple of years to come up. Some do it even quicker, some even the same year. Well, that was uh, that was the uh, Gyoji. The referee gave it to Tamanoshima, but one of the judges disagreed. So the chief judge here is backing the referee. He was saying it's according to the referee's decision. It was correct. Tamanoshima got that. So that was a pull drop win, Hiki Otoshi win for Tamanoshima. Now we have Asa Shoryu fights. Takanawaka, they've had four fights previously. Asa Shoryu has won three. Well, let's see if this uh, Mongolian whirlwind will come out slapping and thrusting to the face and handing out a bit of stick. Well, looks like Takanawaka is going to give it to him first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at the look on his face at the end there when he slapped Takanawaka. As if to say, you dare slap me, I'll slap you back. Yeah, he wipes, wipes his, uh, rubs his face there. Well, if you can't hand it out, 
which if you can't take it, you shouldn't hand it out. But he seems quite capable of both. So that was 10th win for Asa Shoryu. Almost certainly he uh, should uh, qualify for one of the tournament prizes and uh, 3 million yen or so that goes with it. Now we have Kaiho against Tochi no Nada. Kaiho's only got five wins so far. Took his name, his name means uh, Sea Phoenix. Took his name from his father's fishing boat. Comes from a fishing family. Here fighting Tochi no Nada, who's beaten three times, cracks him with his head, then swings to one side. But uh, Tochi no Nada recovers from that and then just immediately reverses the initiative there and drives Kaiho straight out over the side. Hurts him a bit by the look of it. Extraordinary number of injuries uh, occurring in sumo these days. The wrestlers uh, seem to be fighting harder these days. I feel they have to give the money's worth to recession hit Japan. Sumo prices are pretty high, even by Japanese standards, so uh, they've got to put on a good performance. So Sashimaru and Tochi Azuma taking their places there. That will be the decider. But before that, we have now Kotomitsuki and Daizen. Daizen, the 36, nearly 37-year-old veteran. Got six wins so far. A loss here will give him Maki Koshi. Got six wins and seven losses. And a win for Kotomitsuki will give him Kachi Koshi. Kotomitsuki, of course, the one who won the Basho last time with 13 wins. Well, there it is. Very neatly done. Double arm underneath uh, Daizen's two arms, a Morozashi hold, and then to the edge, and then a rather contemptuous push to the chest to drive him over the edge. So eight losses for Daizen and Makikoshi, and eight wins, eighth win for Kotomitsuki and Kachikoshi. So at least he at least will stay at his rank of Sekiwaki. Now Kayo fights Musoyama. Well, both of these came into uh, Makuchi Sumo in uh, 93. Fought each other 36 times, but Kayo's got the edge with 21 victories. So Musayama comes out harder and faster across the gap. Kayo stops him, starts driving forward, chases him, closes the gap. He's got that overarm hold, moving him to the edge. Musayama trying the Kirikaishi, that's the uh, trip. But uh, Kayo comes in with a leg inside leg lift and drops him down, so very neatly won a match there by Kayo. Ninth victory for him, fifth loss for Musoyama. Well, that was a hard-fought match there, brief but very hard-fought. No quarter given by either wrestler. And Musoyama bites the dust from that uh, throw. It was an Uwatinagi, that's an overarm throw, but it was very much assisted by the leg. Let's uh, watch that one again. So from the touchy eye, the crouch down into the charge forward, then the slamming of the bodies together, which was absorbed. Now there's that overarm grip by Kayo. There's that Kirikaishi move from Musoyama, tries to hook Kayo over, hovers on the brink. Now there's that inside leg lift, very much like the Uchimata throw of judo, but it's not uh, called that in uh, sumo. And over goes Musoyama. Now, if Masashi Maru wins this bout, he'll win the Basho. These are the two front runners, and the loser here, if it's Tochi Azuma, means he loses the Basho. There's the money. Those little pennants that are carried around the ring are the money that's given to the winner of uh, this match, usually donated by various corporations, or can be by individuals. So Masashi Maru with 12 wins, Tochi Azuma with 11 wins. These two have fought 21 times, Masashi Maru's won 14. Masashi Maru looking very composed, Tochi Azuma also composed, two very confident rikishi here. If uh, Masashi Maru loses this one, then the deciding matches will be on the last day, day 15. So let's see how the Yokozuna will handle Tochi Azuma. Tochi Azuma stopped uh, dead from his touchy eye charge comes straight at uh, Masashi Maru, which is not such a good uh, plan. Masashi Maru got the Kime hold there. Pressure's on uh, Tochi Azuma's arm. 
Sergio Zuma gets those arms free in a flash, gets driven back to the edge. Sashimaru leaning his way into Tochi Azuma's body and dumps him down with Yori Taoshi. So no gaps there in Musashi Maru's attack. Nowhere for Tochi Azuma to exploit the flanks of the big man, which is where he's weak. And it was straight out with that Yori Taoshi, the force down by Musashi Maru. So Musashi Maru wins his ninth Basho overall. Tochi Azuma places second. He's already guaranteed Ozeki promotion. And uh, there's a prospect of prizes for Musoyama, Wakanosato, Asa, Shoryu, Tochi Azuma and Daizen, which will be decided on the last day. There we see that Kimi hold, but Tochi Azuma gets his arms out of that very quickly. And there was a free moment there where perhaps he could have exploited uh, uh, Masashi Maru's uh, balance to the side, but Masashi Maru closed it down very quickly. And there you see throwing his huge weight in. Toshi Azuma tries a little hook on the inside there with his leg and look at the power which he hits the dirt there. Very solid. Uh, you can see he's slightly hurt from that. Well, the end of the day, end of day 14, it's uh, Masashi Maru wins the Basho, but more action to come after the break. So stay with us, we'll be back very shortly.